Alright, so you guys keep hearing me talk about the rocket stove, and uh, today I think I'm actually going to get the thing going. I got uh, everything I need to get the thing done. My little helper over here, she's good. Um, so, the basic components that you need are a burn chamber, an insulated tube, something to force that air back down into an air mass, which is uh, that exhaust, those two dark holes there go into uh, an area that I built. Uh, it's basically one by one pavers. It's 12 by 12 by 1, so I got pavers uh, for the bottom, and then I stood other pavers up on top of it sideways, and then I put another layer over top of that. Built a wall all the way around, 12 foot by 12 foot, and uh, and then put it, you know, put the top on. Then I buried it with cob type material. There's a lot of clay out here, um, so I've got the fish tank on top of it. A good couple feet of dirt. Uh, here's my exhaust right here for it. So the air is going to travel through a whole maze of bricks underneath this big area and eventually get over to this uh, this exhaust here. So I'm hoping it's going to trap a lot of heat, slowly let it out into this water. Um, it's my aquaponics system, so I have like underground here, which is going to get wet and cold. and uh, So that pumps up into here. So all this, this water in here is going to be heated up all the time and being cycled out. Uh, it goes out to a siphon through this into a series of ponds. This pond is right next to this air mass, so I'm hoping the whole side of this pond as well. So there's really two, two of my bigger water sources right there that I'm hoping are gonna take the heat from this thing. And then as it trickles down here and loses its heat, uh, it gets into this other pond. We just keep cycling and cycling. I think I'll have a really warm pond over here, and I think the fish down here are gonna be pretty comfortable. Pretty sure the plants that are gonna go on the planters over here is the aquaponic system. Uh, I'm going to have nice warm roots and that, that heat that stays in there and uh, it should mist up nice in the morning, give them a good condensation to pull in through. I think it's just going to be a good deal overall. So back to what the rocket stove is, um, here's my burn chamber, which I'm totally experimenting. I don't know what the hell I'm doing at all. So I uh, have a burn chamber. The wood goes in right here, uh, it should be pushed, the, the air will pull it through. The fire actually burns sideways. It'll go up into here and then I have to... Uh, you know, control the airflow to see how I can get it to fit up into the tube and then back down into this exhaust. And the tube basically is one tube inside of another. And this tube itself is really two tubes. There's a little air mass in between that. And then when it goes in here, I insulate it with, uh, here's leftover cement here from when I was washing out the wheelbarrows, pouring these ponds. All this clay material, I've got a bunch of loose dirt. And I got some perlite that a friend gave me. So. Uh, I'm going to mix that all together and stuff it in this, this area in between here. And that should insulate that real nice. So the inside of the tube's hot, the outside's a little colder. So once that's put together, I take and I put it over top of the burn chamber. And then uh, once, uh, once it's going up that tube, it, it basically the heat rises. And then that's what this barrel's for. Put that over top. But then I'm going to cover this, these two holes where the air mass is, so it's forced down into that. So it'll look like this, basically straighter. I'm going to have to bury the, the whole thing basically and leave it so that that's where the air has to go uh, and trap in that heat as much as I can. There's a little divot in here. I think I'm going to wrap a hose around. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but somehow I'm going to trap the heat out of this through I don't know if I have to get copper tubing or... If there's some way I can suspend a hose in water or something like that. But I, uh, I want to use that heat to heat water as well. Because basically, once this gets siphoned out into this tank, it, it has to go from a hose into these ponds and then go out the rest of the way. So I'm going to try to maximize that heat flow as best I can. And hopefully I'll be making another video tonight of this thing burning. So uh, wish me luck.